Oh my goodness, I forgot one important thing. Maybe a couple important things to tell you. So here I have my finished artwork, right? And I did say, I think in the other video, to put your artwork on top of a heavy book. Oh, that was silly of me. So instead, what I really meant was to put it under a heavy book. While it just flattens out, that will help keep your paper and your artwork flat if it bubbled up on when it got wet. I also wanted to show you when I did a brown bunny, maybe you like the idea of a brown bunny too, instead of the black and gray bunny. One thing I did want to note, that if you do um, on the other side, normally remember in class if we make a mistake we say flip your paper over and just try on that side, well, what I did here, I did that, I was trying to save paper, but you'll notice these extra lines on my artwork here, right? That's because over on this side I started drawing my bunny and he went too high. If you happen to do that, just go ahead and set that paper aside to use with maybe a pencil drawing or something where you won't get your paper wet so that the marker won't bleed through. Alright? Well, happy drawing and painting artists. We'll see you later.